Time to get to work. Do your thing, MP. Coming to you live on this Tuesday night, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Los Angeles Clippers as they go up against the Los Angeles Lakers. With Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony alongside, I'm Kevin Harlan at the table. And from the sidelines, it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. And now the Lakers starting group, Vanderbilt and Davis man the post box. Russell is out there with lights out, and it's James in at the small forward position. Well, make sure to buckle your seatbelts, everyone, because both of these teams love to run it up and down the floor. I know Richard and I have ours harnessed in and ready to go. Oh, I love these kind of high-energy games. This is definitely going to be a fast-paced game. Get ready for a track meet. Westbrook is too much to handle in close there. He's got so many different moves he can go to. Yep, that one goes. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. George, no good. Here's lights out, defended by George. And Davis throws it down. Ooh, when the brow gets up, you better get out the way. There's not many people with that length and that athleticism. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Outside, George. It's stolen by Davis. Pass to Olsen. Here's Russell. Again, the Lakers. It's nice to see Russell's discipline. Stays patient and earns the shots he gets. Westbrook surveying the D. Can't hit that one. Nice D from Russell. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now, here's Westbrook. Turned in an outstanding game against Brooklyn. Now, here is George. He's guarded by Olsen to stop the run. And here's Covington from the arc. Rebound the Lakers, fresh from a win against Portland. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. Tough to keep the consistency from deep, but they did it last time. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. A moment here to check out the numbers for LeBron James. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. Right around 25 points per, seven assists, and five rebounds. And what a force he is on the glass. Just inhales rebounds. And he can go around his opponent, over his opponent, through his opponent. A true triple threat. And the shot goes in. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really, over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. Outside, Russell. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's lights out, defended by George. Doubled by Plumley. Here's Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. It also allows them to play inside out, which will make them even more difficult to defend. Westbrook, no good. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Lights out, misses. Powell, the pass to Covington. Vanderbilt with the block. 
And so the ball's out of bounds. Vanderbilt touched it last. Covington kicks to George. And here is Powell. Another guy who really kicked it up a notch for them in that game against the Nets. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Eh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. Connects again from distance. And all season long, he's been nothing but money from beyond the arc. You're right. He's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. And that mark of 354 triples set by Steph Curry in 2019. He's got a lot of seasons on this list. No surprise there. Clippers trail by 15. With the drive, it's stolen by Davis. And now Davis pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Showing their energy so far, sprinting up and down the floor, getting out in transition and taking advantage. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. And the Clippers call time here. And now a chance to look here at the race for Rookie of the Year. Halfway through the season, these are the top rookies so far. When you look at Lights Out, well, he's shown he's a force as we move along in the meat of the season, sitting pretty at that number one spot now, and it's his race to lose. And this is just a special, special player. No question he should be favored for the Rookie of the Year award at this point. He has to be. The thing that's impressed me most is his mental toughness. He's got the kind of poise that you just don't see in a lot of rookies. Now, here is George. Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. Westbrook passes to Pop. And just miss after miss right now. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Good on the triple. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Outside Covington. And George kicks to Powell. And again, no good by the Clippers. Lakers leading by 20. Here's lights out. Defended by George. Here's James. It's hauled in by the Clippers. They're coming off that win against the Nets. In that one, they owned the backboards. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. And you could tell it was demoralizing for their opponent, missing out on all those extra possessions. Takes it out to Covington. And stolen by James. All alone. Oh, oh my goodness, the my slam! God. And just a sensational two-way threat. Once Bron gets the steal, like he is immediately looking to attack. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. So it's the Clippers now. Westbrook dishes to George. Vanderbilt with the rebound. The Lakers controlling the game. And it's slammed in by Davis. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. And it's George finishing it off. That's why Westbrook racks up so many assists. There's the drive. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Here we are, Richard, in the middle part of the season. How much does a coach begin to worry about his team's output at this point of the year? 
Oh, well, that's all coaches do. They worry. It's in the DNA of being a coach. That's why I don't do it, because I never worry about anything. These guys right here, if they could have the best team ever assembled, I think coaches would still worry about production. Now here's Plumley. Hasn't made one yet. Oh. Rebounded by Olsen. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Takes it inside. James kicks to Vanderbilt. Olsen passes to LeBron. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here is George. A 29-point game for him in the win against Brooklyn. And he was also went to town on the glass, imposed his will, chasing down misses all game long. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Here's Olsen. That's in there. Davis with the assist. That's 12 points for lights out. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. Pass to Plumley. Dishes to Westbrook. Powell against James. Powell the pass to Westbrook. Five on the clock. Hey, who's Russell? Over Russell. And it's Westbrook missing. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Great three-point shooting here out of the gate. That makes four makes already from long distance. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now, here is George. Defense is right there. And moving George around the floor keeps the defense guessing. Here's LeBron and the dunk by James. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. The Clippers shooting down around 24%. Obviously, they've struggled. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Plumley. No good that time. Great tee that time from Davis. Shot from the wing. And there's another one for the Lakers. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. And it's lights out with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. So for the... decide to take their first time out here. All right, a chance to check out the stats for Lights Out. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. And he's as good as it gets from three-point land. In fact, the best percentage that we have in the league. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Here's Lights Out. Time out. Time out. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. And the Lakers call time here. Well, we've seen some defensive wizards among the NBA's freshman class this season. Let's now take a look at the rookie steal leaders. When you look at lights out, fifth in the NBA. Very crafty player. How about the anticipation and really his aggressive mindset defensively he's always pressuring always looking for an opportunity to force a turnover here's lights out 12 points for him and davis puts it in and obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight he's just riding the wave of momentum right now getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side so the lakers five right now the two Lakers stars on the floor. LeBron at the three and Davis at the five. Lights out out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Vanderbilt in at the power forward. 
and stays ready and reacts quickly. Covington is an ideal catch-and-shoot scoring option. An unfortunate struggle for this Lakers team has been injuries, Richard. Staying healthy is the key to any team's success. But the past few seasons, the Lakers have had some really big hits. Luck just wasn't on their side in that regard. Here's Powell following the basket by Anthony Davis. It's Powell with the drive. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. And then on Saturday, they'll take on Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Here's lights out. And another basket for the Lakers. And I'm not really sure that's the time for the fadeaway, but he sure can make it count. The Clippers have gone 6 of 8 from the field in the second quarter. It's George on the wing. Off target from three-point range. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He spent a while up in that rim, didn't he? Now here's Powell. Scoreless thus far. Kicks it to Covington. Here's Mann. He's guarded by Russell. It's stolen by Davis. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys. Lights out in their last game against the Trailblazers really lit up the floor. He scored 54 points, and as his team has come to expect, he was a major factor from deep. The level he played at in that one was incredible. Now he always wants to play his best against their rivals, and to say the least, mission accomplished. Guys? Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. Martin's checked in for the Clippers. Russell Westbrook comes in for man. Carries it from three-point range. Westbrook's got five points so far. Just candid Westbrook with a confidence-boosting triple. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And finished off by Westbrook. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He one of the best in the business, absolutely. Jacks up a three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. This brings him to three total makes from the arc. We've just won in this half so far. Plumley with the screen. It's Powell with the drive. Nice D from Russell. Lakers shooting 59% here in the second quarter. They're playing with great confidence. From past the arc, lights out with the bucket. Lights out's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Time to send it now to the sideline for more on this spectacular season MP is putting together. Thank you, Kevin. Well, MP's had a season to remember from deep, but now he has a chance to etch it more concretely in the history books as he's within reach of the single-season record for three-pointers made. But regardless, Kevin, MP always worth the price of admission. Yeah, for certain. I like that. And here is Powell following the three from Olsen. The shot by Powell, no good. He's been held scoreless tonight, really just unable to make any sort of impact. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-ups. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. That is just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. The Clippers shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Now the pass to Plumlee. 
He kicks it to Martin. Back to Plumley, And it's slammed in by Plumley. And Bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. And once in a while, Kenyon Martin Jr. has a blow-up game, RJ. We've seen it. Good! Another from three. And his incredible shooting season continues. Oh, up the history charts. He climbs GA, now tied for third all-time for threes in a season. Absolutely amazing. And he's matched Curry's mark of 354 from 2019. That season, James Harden led the league with 378. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And to this point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. He's done a really good job. The free throw drops for Pop. And load management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy. And again for three. The threes just don't stop with him. He's been a machine from beyond the arc ever since the start of the season. Ah, he continues, doesn't he, to shoot his way up the history books and now sits solely by himself for third most threes in a season. Surpassing Steph Curry's mark from 2019, but Curry still holds that top mark of 402 set in 2016. Westbrook finds Powell. Inside, it's stolen by Davis. Down low, here's Russell, and he lays it straight in. An active competitor, Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the rim. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Plumwood dishes to Powell. Outside Westbrook. And that's basket number four. He's taken nine shots to this point. He's had a rough start to this game, and that's being nice. But he's gotten back on track here in the second. Here's Olsen. And another three for the Lakers. And man, is he in a zone right now. Seems like he can't miss. George, way outside. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers able to put on a show for the agents. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We've got more in store for you right after this. Hello, folks. Still a ways off from All-Star Weekend, but let's first check in on who's in the running for this year's three-point contest. Well, I love this group. I mean, each one of them can legitimately win the event. But then again, these days, a lot of people in this league could possibly win it. Yep, from one to five, we've got shooters at every position. Can't wait for the All-Star Saturday night. Now for a moment to look at our game, everything, and I mean everything, is falling into place for the Lakers. I like the way they've attacked the boards. I guess when you control the glass, it really helps you control the flow of the game. And those extra possessions can add up quickly in the scoring column. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been one outstanding game from Lights Out. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. But I don't think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. At the guard spots, we'll see Westbrook and George. Norman Powell is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Plumley in at the center. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Russell from long range. 
And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Clippers. Next game for them, they'll take on the Raptors at Toronto. And they start a long road journey there. That'll be the first of a seven-game road trip. And, Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. But it's amazing how the game has evolved. James gets the screen from Olsen. Over George. And it's James missing. See, that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. And stolen by LeBron. And it's the Lakers on the break. Creating some easy offense off the steal. LeBron James always lurking with those quick hands. I'm coming. On offense, here are the Clippers. Outside, George. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Russell. And now the fast break, LeBron with the ball. Here is the open three to cap the break. LeBron's got 25 points in the game. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triples. Back to Westbrook. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Barry's the long-range jumper. Westbrook's got 12 in the game. Hitting back with the three of his own. Westbrook not giving an inch. LeBron gets the screen from Olsen. Shoots over Powell. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Westbrook finds George. Beyond the arc. Westbrook no good. Lakers have gone 2 of 5, shooting here in the third quarter. Covington with a steal. It's stolen. Driving inside. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. In case you haven't been watching his entire career, it is tough to contain Davis when he is on a roll. He's got a physicality and an expansive all-around skill set. Outside, Covington. Back to Powell. For three, Westbrook. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. This is why you always have to chase guys off the arc because everyone has a three-point shot now. Powell against Russell. Covington passes to George. And the layup's good off the glass. 14 points for him. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Driving to the basket. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And let's see some of the numbers here for Paul George. The last 10 or so games, he has been remarkable. And he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And back to what you said. Top five in steals this year. Quick hands and, and great anticipation. Oh, three throws good from Olsen. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. You can't take that shot in front of Davis. His reach, his height, come on, man. That was never going to happen. They are losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Pass to Olsen. Back to James. Passes it to Olsen. Shot clock at five. Goes up on the wing. Good work there as it goes. James has got five points now in the quarter. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Plumley sets the pick for Westbrook. Off target with his three. Lakers have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Russell with a wide open look and another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Powell against LeBron. Powell with it. He's got seven. 
the kick out to Westbrook. To end the run. And the Clippers miss again. The Lakers have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. The three from George. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got six rebounds here tonight. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Lakers. Well, look, look, it's not just about forcing a turnover, guys. It's about converting them in those opportunities and cashing them in. And another thing, guys, they've dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. Martin, he's checked in for Paul George. Westbrook passes to Plumlee. He feeds it to Covington. Down to five on the shot clock. Powell for three. A rebound by the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Olsen passes to Vanderbilt. And another assist for him. Dishing it all over the place in this one. He's tallying them up in bunches. Russell against Westbrook. Trying to get something going. The Lakers with the rebound. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Martin against James. Plumley with a screen on Russell. Or three, Westbrook. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got nine rebounds now tonight. There's Russell with the three. Not going to go that time. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Pass to Plumley. Outside Westbrook. This one for three. Sinks the triple. Westbrook's got nine points here in the second half. And he's quickly up to four made threes in this game. Sheesh, get this man the rock. Davis finds Russell. Lakers passing it around. And again, another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammate. Here's Powell. Plumley trying to break loose. And it's Powell scoring on a gorgeous play. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. From deep three-point land, connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And Richard with D'Angelo Russell, he's a guy who can do just about anything in the backcourt. That's right, Kev. If you need him to be a true floor general, he can do that in spurts. And if you need him to be a score-first offensive catalyst, that's his sweet spot. Covington shot is off. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And really deep through that time. Lights out. has got 49 points in the game. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 18. And Plumley kicks to Martin. Outside Westbrook. Broke loose. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Olsen. 
A three-pointer off the mark. And for the Clippers, they're shooting 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Plumlee dishes to Powell. There's the pass to Martin. To the inside. Powell, that's good. Powell's got six here in this quarter. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Timeout called the Lakers. Zubats is checked in for Mason Plumley. Let's take this opportunity to show you the teams that have been the best three-point shooting squads over the last 10 games. The Lakers number one. The three... Clippers. Plumley comes in for Ivica Zubats. And George is subbed in for Kenyon Martin. Lights out checked in for the Lakers. Here's lights out. Three from the inbound. And another one. Once again, this guy cannot be stopped. It is incredible. He's nearing second overall in career 50 point games. And still going strong. Chasing the incomparable Michael Jordan. I mean, that comparison alone should give you chills. Taking a look at the Lakers. Friends out there with Rui Hachimura. Then it's Christian Wood. Then there's lights out, and it's Reeves in at the two. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ballgame. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. So, for the Clippers, Zubats is checked in for Plumlee. Man subbed in for Russell Westbrook. The Clippers shooting a pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Zubats with the screen for Powell. Pass to Man. There's the three. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Wood's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Olsen. Boom! He chains it straight down. A oh, fantastic dunk. And he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. George, no good. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Lights out, misses. And so Powell will bring it up for the Clippers. Passes to Mann. And George kicks to Covington. The shot's good on the assist by George. George has got three assists in the game. Lakers have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. The Clippers shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Green by Zubac. And George kicks to Covington. For three. And the three ball is good. Covington's got six here in this quarter. And this is what Covington is known for. Effective at stretching the floor with his outside shooting. Olsen. And right away they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Lights out's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Lakers. Here's Mann, defended by Olsen. Mann passes to Powell. Here's Mann. Outside, George, just five on the clock. Here's Zubats, arm's length from the hoop. He knocks it down. They've cashed in on a lot of second chance opportunities here in the second half. That extra effort will help them cut into this deficit. Hachimura, no good. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Man passes to Powell. Out to the wing. From outside the arc, Man can hit. Lakers shooting it brilliantly here lately. 60% from the field. Here's lights out. Guarded by Powell. Olsen passes to Prince. And another three for the Lakers. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Takes it out to Covington. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. 
George has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's lights out. And another one falls. Amazing. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. Here's Zubats. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. And it's Hachi Murray in the corner. Another possession, another assist. 25 assists. What an unselfish performance. He has been a sensational playmaker. Here's Mann. Takes the three. Hachimura grabs the miss. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Lakers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so checking out their season record, this game will become their 45th win. And this will be their third win in three tries against these guys. They match up so well. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Lights Out. And his playmaking is what stood out to me, effortlessly creating for his teammates. To the middle, to halt the run, and it's good on the layup. Love the patience from Covington. Uh, let's the situation develop and then delivers a perfect strike. And the Lakers call time here. They're in front. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Some changes for the Lakers. Hayes comes in for Hachimura. And it's Reddish in for Torian Prince. And so it's the Lakers with it. Olsen passes to Hayes. Lakers working the ball around now. Powell on the double team. Here's Reddish. And a miss there on the triple. And so Powell will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. To the paint. Zubat's no good. Here's Olsen. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Robert Covington picks one up. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Olsen. Outside, George. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. So long and good night, everyone. His name's MP, and he gets buckets. Those guys are going to have nightmares about you carving up their D. Those are the players we want to acquire, develop.